everybody welcome to day 44 of the lockdown apparently I have 43 t-shirts because I'm having to repeat myself now <coughs> so uh, that's it something we've learned uh, today was taken up this morning uh, was packaging parcels uh, I didn't film that it's just boring it's manic bubble wrap everywhere uh, so uh, I've done that this morning this afternoon a bit of throwing I'm replacing the pots that have sold thank you for buying them if you've bought them um, I've been making some of the rouletted uh, pots, they, they were popular, they went, and moon jars. I've done the uh, moon jars with the black flexing, and then I've had an idea for a moon jar that's going to have lugged handles with a looped handle on the top of it, a cane handle. So I've been making that today. So um, that's it for today. Um, a video will follow in a minute. Um, Uh, this is a mug by um, my friend Penny Withers. She fires them in my kiln. I've got a coal spot in the bottom. Uh, it gets to cone nine and they're, they're lovely. And she gave me one, which is really kind of her. Uh, and it's my favourite mug now, so I'll just show it to you. It's got a really nice little dragonfly there. Very good, very good potter, Penny. Uh, what I'm going to do is, uh, these are for sale by the way, they're for sale on the internet. Uh, I know she's got an Etsy shop, so if you check it out, I'm going to put the URL for the Etsy shop in the uh, comments down below. So click on it, have a look. She's got a few pots on there. She only just opened this Etsy shop, and she needs she needs some people to start following her. Um, uh, so uh, buy her mugs. Here's the video. I've had some success uh, over the past few days with um, selling pots from the last the last firing, and um, I put a few sort of half a dozen test pieces in, and they've all sold. So, well, half a dozen they weren't test pieces; they were trials, trials of a different technique, and they've all gone, and they came out really well. So, um, I'm just going to make some more. the ones with the um, the black slip if you've been watching if you've been watching the uh, the videos thank you <laughs> but, uh, these are the ones with the, I, I put the rouletted black slip on the outside This is the first one, so I'm just getting the form right. These are 600 gram balls. Once I've got the shape of the first one I'm throwing now, I think they go a bit quicker. Not that it's important to do them quicker. Plenty of time on our hands these days, haven't we? Well, that's got the shape fixed. I've just uh, made up a, a new batch of uh, black slip. Of putting it on. <laughs> it's easier said, I suppose. for a start.
the outside of there. We'll see if... Yeah, this goes on a lot better, you see. There's no slurry underneath. thinking, working things out. See, that's a better one already, isn't it? Always keep thinking, don't just rely on what you've done before. A thing on Facebook popped up behind another, a different pot, but it had like a looped handle. And you could, when I was from where I was sat, I could see the looped handle behind the moon jar, and I thought, ah. I'm going to make a moon jar with little lugs and I'm going to put a cane loop handle on it. It's strange how you get ideas, how ideas come to you. So this is um, this is going to be a moon jar that's got like a look, little lugs on them and. This might be repeating things for everybody, but you know, like I said before, it's a video diary, and I do do things over and over again. So, but I do like the uh, whole sort of development of ideas. It's the simplest thing you see, and uh, can trigger off a whole sort of range of of, uh, of pots. I started leaving my necks and openings a little wider than normal, but I'm going to take this back in a bit because I've got to get a look on it. And that'll do it. The next one will be better. That's it, that's today done. Uh, I'm just going to go and parcel another couple of pots up ready for tomorrow, take to the post office. I like to get them out by the Friday, uh, that way they're on their way. Uh, Saturday they don't collect from the post office, you can you can take it in but they don't get collected so they don't go out till Monday so I'll try and get as much, uh, much parcel, as many parcels as I can out Thursday, Friday time if I can. So uh, okay, uh, who knows what tomorrow will bring. See you tomorrow.